Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Addy Views back with another video and it's that time of the month again when I show you guys the best apps that you should have on your iPhone during this month. These are very awesome apps and of course they are very useful as well so you must download them on your iPhone in May 2020. So let's get started. Here are 10 apps that you must download on your iPhone this month. All right, starting off with the first one. It is called text on video now it allows you to put text on video but not just that you can put other stuff as well and it is really really cool so what you will have to do is first of all of course load one of the videos that you have on your camera roll and once you have loaded the video all you have to do here is just tap choose and then from here you can go ahead and put like different stuff on the video you can draw on the video you can put text there you can put a sticker or even a photo so you just have the draw button right there you will have a few different colors here to choose from and then you can choose the size right here as well and you can go ahead and draw anything that you want on a video it's that easy tap the dumb button and there you have it you tap the play button you will have your drawing right there you can of course put text as well so you enter any text you want here and you will also have different fonts to choose from right here then you will also have other stuff here have stickers you want to go ahead and add a sticker you can do it just like that you can of course place it anywhere you want on the video you can even add pictures that you have saved on the camera roll of your device add them to your video so just tap right here and just select the picture that you want to add and then you will have it right here now of course you can rotate it you can resize it you can place it anywhere you want on the video as easy as that now once you're done you tap the save button right there and it will save this video and you will have the original one you will have the edited one as well you tap right there on those three dots and then you will have the option here to edit it you can just play it or you can save it to the camera roll of your device next up we have a new wallpaper app called backdrops this is a really amazing wallpaper app probably one of if not the best that i have ever had on my iphone now the wallpapers there are truly amazing i did show this wallpaper app on an ipad video that i did and i'm showing it here on the iphone because it is that awesome so this is the home screen of the app right here where you can explore different wallpapers at the top there you will have some featured wallpapers and then right here we'll have all the other wallpapers the wallpapers that you see here are all just selected all beautiful wallpapers you won't see any like just random ugly ones here are some really really beautiful wallpapers and any one of these of course can be the wallpaper of your iphone so if you want to download one of them you just tap on it and it will show you right here a page with a preview of the wallpaper the download button as well as all the details regarding that wallpaper and you can of course go ahead and favorite that wallpaper right there that's really cool on the first tab here you will find community so here you will find wallpapers that have been uploaded by the community and of course you can go ahead and browse them from here then you will have here wallpapers with basically premium packs of wallpapers then here we'll have your favorites and of course at the top right there we'll have a search bar from where you can search for any wallpapers that you want based on color name or tags or anything you want next up we have pro take this is a camera app that is really really awesome it has a bunch of features that allow you to control your camera now it has two different modes you will have the auto mode and you will also have the pro mode right here now the pro mode is actually paid so you will have to pay to get access to the pro mode so basically here you will have all the like different stuff here everything on manual you will have here the indicators of the microphone right there you will have the frames per second and the resolution as well which of course you can change from there here you will have basically a button to change between the auto and the pro mode and then if you tap right here you will have all the different aspect ratios that you can choose to basically shoot with your camera you can see here different aspect ratios you can also go to safe area and you will have others as well so you can change them directly from here you have the zoom in and out buttons 
as well and of course a flash button right there really really awesome and of course you will have more control over the camera especially if you go on the pro mode which you can take a look from here you can change anything you want like the white balance you can change the iso you can change the lens right there anything can be changed here this is truly like a basically manual camera now the only thing you won't be able to do here is record without paying because it is a free app a paid app as i said for this pro feature you will have to pay and the auto feature you can use that for free next up is an app called fig now fig is really awesome it allows you to have all the different communities that you're interested on all the different discussions right here on one app so you can see the first tab here it says topic so right here you can add different communities now if you just tap the plus button you can go ahead and add any community that you want right here of course just by adding its url or you can go ahead and just browse different communities by going to discover here and you will have different communities like you have swift forms right here you will have other stuff as well so you can see you have featured you have trending and then you have different categories like gaming for example you will have all these different gaming communities that you can just add right there and then when you go to your topics right here you will have all the different communities and of course you can go ahead and browse them from here you can see all the different discussions all in one place next up is an app called via maker now this is a video editing app one of the best that i have seen on the app store most of the features that you would find on a pc or mac video editing software can be found on this app as well so this is the app right here once you have loaded one of your videos you will see here on the timeline you will have that video which you can zoom in and out you can also tap the plus button if you want to add extra videos now right here at the bottom you will have all the different tools you will have the edit button which of course allows you to split the clip change the speed of the clip change the volume add different annotations as well now then if you go back you will have audio this allows you to add different audios like music and stuff like that to your videos you will have text which of course allows us to add text directly on the video then you can also add stickers now this is a feature right here that i love picture in picture it allows you to add a video on this video so you have this main one you can have a smaller one right there on the corner of that one so picture in picture really really cool next up is an app called tick tags now if you're using TikTok like a ton of people are doing right now, then this is a very useful app for you. It allows you to find the best tags for TikTok. Now, once you open the app, you will see here a very simple interface at the top right there. You will see like some featured topics, which are, of course, the general topics like music, food, nature. You will have dance cars and all that. If you tap on one of them, it will show you the tags, the best tags that you can get for that topic now here you can go ahead and click on copy tags and just like that you will copy all of these tags and you can then of course add them to your tiktok or you can just go ahead and tap on any one of these basically select just the ones that you want to use and tap on copy text then right here it will show you copy all or just copy the selected ones if you just want to copy them and you're good to go then of course you can add them to your video now you will also have a search bar right there where you can search for any topic that you want and then it will show you tags based on the topic that you have searched so as easy as that you will have basically tags let's say here for cars so search for cars and you will have the best tags that you can use on your video next up is an app called x lounge now this is one of the best Next up is an app called X Launch. This is one of my favorite apps because I love rockets and all that stuff. So right here, it will show you rocket launches. So at the home screen, you will see the upcoming launches. You can see this one right here. If you tap on it, it will show you all the different details about this launch. Of course, you will see the time there. You will see the photos if you tap right there it will show you different photos there are none for this one but right here we'll see all the different details that you need to know about this launch now if you go right here to launches then it will show you the recent ones of course you can search right there for any one you want so you can see all these different launches if you tap on it you will see the video of the launch 
right there and then you will have here all the different details as you can see them right here now if you like this kind of stuff then this app will be really really awesome if you tap on photos you will see here different photos from that launch you can see this is really really beautiful very good very nice educational app if you're into rockets and space and all that stuff then this app will be really really great next up we have a health app drink water now this allows you to easily and simply track your water intake so all you have to do here to the home is just tap right there and just add 400 milliliters right there so just track your basically water intake you set there how much you need to drink during the day that of course will be set up during the login once you log in into the app and you log in all your information your height your weight and all that it will show you how much you have to drink during the day and then once you have drunk something you just tap right there and of course you can go ahead and add it to your list now also you can edit them so right there the default is 400 milliliters if you didn't do that you just go ahead tap on edit and you can do maybe 200 right there really really awesome now if you go to history right here we'll see the history of the month and of the year as well your water intake everything will be right there and then you will have here your monthly average your weekly average and of course the competition right there you can see and you have the drink frequency everything will be all the details right here so if you like that kind of stuff you like keeping track of the water that you drink then this app will be really really awesome it is free it is simple and very easy to use the next app for the video is called time piece now this app allows you to create multiple timers all you have to do is just go ahead and tap on you right here and you can create a timer you can add a title you can see right here you can add basically the seconds the minutes and the hours as well and then you will have different options as well so from here you can turn on notifications for this timer you can change the sound you can add milliseconds but that will be a paid feature so if you tap on add right here then you will have the timer right here you can see this is really interesting a very simple interface for this app now if you want to start one of the timers you just tap on it if you want to basically stop it you just tap again now if you go ahead and 3d touch on it then you can start it you can delete it or you can show the details about this timer right here and if you go to settings then you will see all the different settings right here the font and all that that you can of course go ahead and use in this app and last but not least is an app called app ratings probably this is not for everyone because not everyone cares about app ratings but if you're a dev if you have an app on the app store and you want to know the rating of your app then you can just go ahead and tap the plus button on this app search for the app and add it right here to the home screen now from here you can tap on the name of the app and it will show you right here all the different ratings of the app so here i have instagram you can see all the ratings based on different countries right here now if i go to one of the countries you can see it shows the rating for that country and all the different comments and the ratings from that country only so this would be very very useful if you're if you have a basically an app on the app store and you want to keep track of the ratings and all the stuff that people are saying about your app then this would be very very useful so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed the apps as well if you want to download any of these apps make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find there all the links to the apps again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one